friends, welcome to another Lissa video. Today let's chat about finding your tribe. I think finding like-minded people that you can share this lifestyle with is extremely important on your journey at sticking to it and staying strong. It's nice to have those people around you that understand you and support you in the same way because they are looking for it as well. I think it's very, very important that you seek out new friends and you don't have to give up your old ones, but it's very important to keep um, other vegans or raw vegans in your circle so that you have some people to fall back on when you need help, um, people that you can just hang out with and be vegans with. It's really, really nice to have these people in your life to help you stick to your journey. Now, one of the best places that you can go to find these like minds is fruit festivals. And we are having the very, 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 very first fruit festival in Canada. And I was blessed to be asked to be one of the presenters at this festival. It's going to be at Okanagan Lake in BC and it's August 10th to the 13th. If you'd like to win a ticket to go to this festival, please head over to this website and enter all your information with code rawfoodromance to enter to win. And this will also get you more information on the festival. So if you want, you can also use my code rawfoodromance after April 21st, once the tickets go for sale. And that code will also get you 15% off your fee to enter the event. It's going to be an awesome festival full of like minds. I highly recommend you try to attend any of the festivals that are near you. The Canada Fruit Festival, which is again the first one this year, uh, the Woodstock Fruit Festival, and I'm also presenting at the UK Fruit Festival this summer as well in July. That one, you can follow this link to head on over there, and my code for that is also Raw Food Romance if you want to get a discount to that event as well. It is so very, very important, and a lot of people say that going to these fruit festivals are life-changing. And I didn't really totally believe it. I thought that I would be changed if I went to one of these events, but I didn't actually feel it until I attended the UK Fruit Festival last year. I felt incredibly accepted and loved and understood. Everybody around me was in love with fruits and vegetables and we were all talking the same language. I felt like we all resonated with each other and you could just go up and talk to anybody and they were like instant friends with you. And again, just everybody understands you and you feel so accepted and loved. I highly, highly recommend if you're able to attend, definitely go and enter for the Canada Fruit Festival one, um, cause why not? They're giving away also a bunch of other prizes like um, fruit from Miami fruit, why not? <laughs> That's the best fruit I had, that first Mammy Sapote in Oregon with Nathan's family and it was absolutely delicious from Miami fruit. They do such an amazing job and there's going to be unlimited fruit at the Canada Fruit Festival. So if you love fruit, you should definitely enter to win or come down to that festival. Again, 15% off if you use code rawfoodromance. Another great place to find like minds is online. And yeah, you don't have that uh, physical connection with these people, but it is really nice to flood your newsfeed with friends that are sharing the lifestyle as well. So lots of pictures of fresh fruits and vegetables, lots of great salad ideas, dinner ideas. Um, people like to share their struggles and if you've had one of their struggles before and you found a solution, you can share it with them. People become best friends online and it's really, really lovely to have that opportunity to connect with people all over the world who are following the same lifestyle as you. Even though you may not meet um, in person, you might never meet in person, and maybe you will. If you do, that's an even better, deeper connection, which I highly recommend you try doing if you have the means available to go meet them. Skype is really great if you make some friends online. You guys can Skype each other. Um, even Facebook Messenger has um, an online kind of a messaging. You can video a message each other or just phone calls. And it's very, very important to connect to these people, make new friends and surround yourself with people who are following the same lifestyle as you, makes it so much easier to stay on your journey. Now, when it comes to family and friends who are not there yet, you do, like I said, you don't have to get rid of them. Just continue to be that loving, healthy example 
of a vegan or a raw vegan and eventually maybe some of them will come over your way and say hey uh, I've been watching you over the last couple years and I love how vibrant you look and how much energy you have and how much love you have towards animals and yourself. I want to follow along and that way you can, you know, you still have those people in your life but they may uh, come over to the vegan side <laughs> if you show how beautiful this lifestyle can be without being a mean vegan You want to be open and accepting to those other people as well Another thing that you can do definitely is to go online and find local meetups You can go to vegan groups on Facebook for your area a lot of groups have been formed in little cities here and there for this exact purpose. They're looking for other vegans to hang out with, do fruit lucks, pot lucks, little get togethers, seminars. They might show movies where you can bring a friend and we can watch vegan movies. The, these little groups are really good for that social connection that we miss when we become vegan because the majority of the population is not vegan and even if they do support you, they still eat differently, they still, you know, invite you out and they're, you know, not going to eat the same things you are and which is totally okay. We need to be accepting and be examples, but it is definitely nice to be in that group of people that understand why you are a vegan because they're vegan as well and again these people are equally looking for friends so don't be afraid to reach out and you know talk to these people because they are looking as well they want friends too our little pool of vegans is quite small so we all want to feel that connection and reaching out is a very good thing to do well, I hope you guys really liked this video if you did please click like and subscribe to my channel to get notifications for more again don't forget to go and enter to win a ticket at for the Canada Fruit Fest I can't wait I'm gonna be doing four classes there uh, I really want to meet all of you guys. There's going to be live music all the time and, you know, lots and lots of fruit. It's going to be great. Chris Kendall is also going to be there and a bunch of other awesome speakers as well. So please, please go and enter down there with code Raw Food Romance. And you can find me on Facebook at Lissa's Raw Food Romance, on Instagram at Raw Food Romance, and on Snapchat. Lisa Raw Vegan. So hope to see you at a fruit festival this year. I would absolutely love to give you a hug. Until the next video, fruit on.